Welcome back to In The Box. I'm Sandy Plashkis. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram at ownersbox and head down below to like, comment, and subscribe to let YouTube know that we are fire. Welcome back to In The Box. I'm your host, Sandy Plashkis, and today I am joined by the two amazing interns, Rocher and Avery. We're going to break That's down. That's the nicest intro you've ever given. <laughs> Let's yeah, fucking you know, go. You know, I just felt like being nice today. As, I, as you may have noticed, I am wearing a gold jacket, which means that the winner of the last week's NFL picks, which was me, I went 3-0 and last week, so... I get to rain the jacket, so I'm I'm feeling nice today. I won some money. You know, these guys didn't do as well. Um, Rocher did the worst after going undefeated the week before. Yep. So you know, we're gonna we're gonna break down those picks, but let's just start with overall records. So we're through week two now. Um, I'm five and one overall. Rocher over here is four and two. Confident four and two. Confident four and two. Avery himself is four and two, yep. and then no surprise here, guys. Uh, Devin in last place <laughs> at three and three yeah, through I don't week think two. So. Else. You know, I knew Devin was going to be like that. Yeah, Devin. I mean, he hasn't been on the podcast in what three weeks. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen him in the anymore. office. Yeah, so he might be fired. Who knows? Yeah. But he should be fired based off these picks. But yeah. anyways, <laughs> let's dive into Rocher's picks first from week two. So Rocher, big Bills fan, your favorite Bills minus six was not a win for you. Did you bet that uh, off the books or just for the podcast sake? That was more. I did put money on it, but it was more of a homer pick. Uh, I was pretty. I don't like betting spread too much with the Bills because, like, I want them to win. So yeah, it's because they're uh, favored by so yeah. much because they're yeah. so good, right? So good, so good. Uh, I mean, they had the spread in, they had it, and I was like, they're gonna win. Back they're to gonna win. win this game. And then the Dolphins came with like they scored with like fifty seconds left in the game, so it was kind of bullshit to be honest. But so I'll take a loss like that. All right, so that's Eagles. that was your first loss. Talk about your dog you had last week. I had the Lions, and they came out hot, but fuck, they got their ass kicked. So I'll take that on me. <laughs> that was my bad loss. That was like fuck me. That's a bad pick. <laughs> I mean, people were chirping me on social channels about that pick. Yeah, what so. did, why don't you tell us about this TikTok? Don't we have some TikTok rivals now? Yeah, Where? we have a TikTok hater. His uh, name is Pee Poofy Fart. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's his name. And he literally, for some reason, hates our picks. He predicts, He's so far, he's three for, the, three, for three, predicting wrong, like, calling us out on picks. So we got to watch out for well, that Just guy. for the record, is I have... Is it pee, poo, fart? Or it's double P, double P. So <laughs> pee, poo, pee, fart. It's gotcha. That's kids a, I mean, that's a, that's a classic troll name. But, yeah. you know, we like to... We, we do, we've been doing pretty well overall. I think you guys are the only ones that release picks on TikTok. So other than my teaser, which was mortal. But, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll keep it going. Our TikTok's fire. Make sure you follow us at Owner's Box. We're, mm -hmm. we're killing it so yeah. far. Um, but keep going. Talk about okay. your total. So uh, the under, I mean, I told everyone, ask Avery. You told me. I was telling randoms about this pick. <laughs> I said, this was my lock of the week, and it hit. Like, it was a great pick. It, it was. fucking it hit well, like think a about, shit ton. I mean, Kirk Cousins, bro. I mean, he's yeah. the only, he's not hitting any overs. That guy is. I think they just saw the Packers game, and they were like, oh, Kirk could put up points. Well, they're getting their ass kicked. That's why he was putting up points. So and that, 48, and 40, what is it? Yeah, 48, 48 and a half. That's, that was high. And then the Colts, who had a pretty shitty week one, too. So, like, it was both mm -hmm. going into that game. I honestly didn't really look at that, but I should have taken that line. I like that yeah. pick a lot. Yeah, especially Jonathan Taylor didn't have a great game in week one. So I didn't, but he ended up having a good game. Yeah, he did. So, like 20 um, fantasy points so around that. And then what can I say? Like, I should be getting extra points for this fantasy player of the week. <laughs> Stephon Diggs. So, yeah, you obviously. A, I said two touchdowns. You got one. He had 156 yards receiving. I mean, he was tied for first on our platform for wide receivers this week so i mean that's a hell of a pick right there that was definitely um, the that was out of the, the four of us that was easily the best uh, yeah fantasy player of the week too bad you there was no tiebreaker else you would have won that for yeah sure yeah so uh so anyways i felt pretty confident you know i still won money on the on the day so did uh, you have like any like one off the books that you took like your yeah, favorite bet of the couple, weekend i took a couple off the books uh who did oh the seahawks i took them uh there had to be that over did you take the seahawks i over? took your teaser yeah the, oh, the 49ers. Yeah, I didn't take any one. other over yeah, that was a lock. So I took the Seahawks and I took uh, I took your teaser and that was it. Yeah, the and 49ers, those both hit. Yeah. So 49ers, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. um, all right, what about you, Ave? Walk through your uh, picks from last week. So my favorite was the Seahawks. What an absolute sweat of a fucking game that was. Oh yeah. Um, happy to see that come out as a win. I think I was on the right side of that. No matter what, I'm happy with the bet. I won. I felt good about that. My underdog was a Vikings plus three. Talk about being on the wrong side of a bet. Yeah. 
That one. That was that, that was shit. That was just as bad as Jeremy's Lions plus six. That was tough. Yeah, that was really fucking bad. bad. That's on me. I'm gonna get back in the lab, and we're gonna have better picks like that for this week. Mm-hmm. My total: Eagles, Rams over 46. More winner, more. literally more right more. away. Halftime, you knew I was just laughing. Just score points, Jared. Just put it in the end zone. I got it. I was happy with that. My player of the week was Patrick Mahomes. Not the greatest week for him, no. but Chiefs fan. We got the win, and that's all that matters to me. Yeah, and, you know, that Eagles-Rams over, I I did a last-ditch teaser for the Eagles, and it was just a mistake from the beginning. I think, you know, yeah. looking back on my my bet slip that Sunday, just that was easily my least favorite bet. I, th- I don't think I'm going to be riding the Eagles at all this year. There's so, there's so many question marks around them, but they do. Their defense is pretty trash. They'll let up points, so the Rams are throwing up points. So I think that's a, you know, a great bet yeah. for overs all day. So good picks. Two and one overall last week. Let's go to myself, the champion, 3-0 and this week. My favorite was the Packers minus six against the Lions, who Jeremy had. And that was, you know, started off pretty rough. You know, wasn't really worried. There was no point in that game where I was like, we're not winning. Like, the Packers are going to win this game. Like, yeah. I never was, had a doubt in my mind about that. But covering the spread, a little little sweaty. First half, we were down two touchdowns plus. I didn't think we were going to cover it, but we came back, you know, hot in the third quarter. Covered that spread with ease. So that was a lock. Dolphins plus six. This was another sweat. Honestly, this was my least confident pick. I just really mainly did it because he's always wearing Bills gear, always posting on our socials, our Twitter about the Bills, and I'm sick and tired of it. So I took the I took the Dolphins plus six, and it was a winner. Great feeling. Honestly, this was my worst, my most rewarding bet of the weekend, just yeah, because absolutely. I beat you, you know, and like to see you not cover because you also had it. It was pretty rewarding. So happy with that. That's two and zero. Oh. And then my over the Seahawks Pats over forty five. What is there? There's like sixty points in that game. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of points, so that was a pretty good bet too. So three and zero, my fantasy player of the week, Tyreek Kill, not not a great game. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he had a fifty had a, yard touchdown. That'll get hundred. But yards. compared to Diggs, compared yeah, to Diggs, Diggs yeah. I mean, yeah. it was good. But yeah, yeah, again, I, I think a lot of our fantasy player of the weeks, so I'm gonna have to lean QB going forward. I think I think so. That's too. the like. How do we? How would we even do that? How do we? No, we just you. We just uh, you take out of points. respect and out of point based off their position. Okay, we so, scale it by points. Yeah. Okay, so that's like fine. Diggs is first out of. Wide out. Too. Oh, you do it. Oh, yeah. Based so we off go based off wide. So like, it's not based off points comparing QB because yeah. QB's gonna have more impossible. points. So just in, in terms of standings yeah. throughout yeah. the week, that's yeah. a good way to do it. All right. So you got that at home. Here at Herdar, we're doing it here. So yeah, Tyreek Hill, good week overall, but not on the scale of Stefan. All right. What did so Devin went uh, one and two last weekend? I don't yeah. have his picks we pulled up. He's pick. not even here to speak for himself. We're not even gonna waste time doing it. But <laughs> he's in last place in the standings between the four of us. Mm-hmm. Um, Rocher, now that week three's here, let's go right into our week three predictions. You guys better tune in here. This is these are locks. We've been, you know, crunching numbers all afternoon. Looking forward to delivering these. So Rocher, why don't you kick it off for us? I got the Falcons as my favorite because I don't think the Bears are that good. And the Falcons at some point are gonna actually win a game. And their offense is is amazing. So I think I mean Quinn's job's on the line. I think they're going to come back with a big win. I mean, the Bears are 2-0. and There's no way they go 3-0. and So I think the Falcons take this game. Uh, I think the spread is – I think minus four is reasonable. I think they'll beat them by seven or, or touchdown, something like that. And then underdog, I like the Texans, but I am going to take the Cowboys at plus five. I think that's going to be a hell of a game. I think people are kind of – now the – like people had the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl, and now they kind of – almost lose to the Falcons and then lose to the Rams. And now everyone's kind of bringing them down, but I still think the, the Cowboys are a very good team. And I think they make this a game. So plus five is a criminal. Who does, who does Dallas play? You said? Seahawks. 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 Plus five. Yeah. Like that's way I think, too high. I, I like it. I just, I don't know if I can do it. I'm not a huge Mike McCarthy guy. Yeah. I, I'm just, he's not a, he's not, not a winner. He just like too conservative for me. He's not going to air the ball out enough for me. Um, I do like overs in their games with the Seahawks on the other side, but again, I just I don't know the Seahawks man. Russell Wilson has almost as many touchdown passes as he does incompletions this year. Like yeah. that's insane. So but I don't know. The, I'm looking at the Patriots game and how close that game was. Uh, so that's how kind of I'm basing. It. I think it's just going to be a good game. I mean, if the Cowboys lose, I think it's going to be by a field goal. Yeah. So I like how the Cowboys are undervalued, even mm-hmm. after their comeback win. Yeah, like people yeah. are still doubting them. So yeah. I think that's a good spot to mm-hmm. snag some points. I think that line could swing to six, though, personally, by the by Sunday, but who knows? Yeah. Uh and then Bills, Rams over 48. I mean, they both put up massive numbers. So I think that game's gonna be close and I think it's gonna be high scoring. 
Bills, Bills, Rams over forty. I would think that number would be a little higher, don't you guys think? I mean, the Rams, the Rams are putting up points every week. So the problem far. is, is now they think because the Bills were so low scoring in years past with their defense, they they've always kind of valued low now. So so is that why you're leaning? That's mainly I'm, your reason. Yeah, and the Rams have been. I mean, the Rams put up how many points last week? Thirty one. Something like I that. I just think it's going to be a close game. That's why I'm taking the over. And um, you think, so who do you think takes that game overall, though? Do you think the Bills pull it out? I think it's going to be a hell of a game. I think the Bills will win, obviously. but um, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. It's, you didn't sound but, too confident. You said, I don't know. When well, when I, I think you. I have the Rams in the playoffs. I think I'm the only one here who put them in the playoffs. So I'll take credit to that. Yeah, but, I, I uh, didn't have them in mind. And now everyone's saying these guys are contenders now. Like They're back. Well, yeah, I said on the last or two episodes ago that the Rams arguably are back, and I think they're back. I think that AF, uh, NFC West is there might yeah. be four. The Forty Niners are they not making playoffs. F- no, the Forty Niners are not going to make playoffs, and <laughs> well, I didn't have them in the playoffs. So, I mean, we're gonna have to go back and see my picks. But did you actually? Not have I did not have them. That, that if that true. actually happens, yeah. that you might have to. You might permanently have yeah. a jacket for for a couple of weeks. I said they were going to be the Rams of this year when the Rams lost after the Super, the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Super Bowl hangover. Uh, so yeah. that's. Could be a massive pick. Keep your eyes on that. Uh, <laughs> fantasy player of the week. I am betting. I am also putting money on Deshaun Watson yardage once it comes out. <laughs> I don't give a shit how big the number is. I'm putting money on it. He's fired up, boys. I love the it. Steelers have an amazing run defense. Okay. I mean, they, I think they have a pretty good pass defense too. Like well, the best. they didn't play I think well against the top three. No, no. Yeah, they are. Make no. a fence Patrick. Not the first week. Giants. I'm saying overall. Okay, overall, we're talking last year. We're talking this year. Talking this year now. Um, <laughs> we don't have enough I'm, data yeah. to okay. run. Yeah. Okay, we don't have enough d- data to run. But the Texans are 0 2. Sean Watson's going to come out flying because David Johnson won't be able to rush the ball. And I think he's going to be top three for fantasy points this week for quarterbacks. And I think they're going to win that game. So I'm high on them this week. I bet you the Texans don't score over 21 points in that game. Well, that's what the line is actually on bet 365. For the, for the team total? Uh, yes. 21, was it 21 and a half or 21? 21. I'm, or or twenty. They won't score. They will not score over twenty points in that game. I'm not betting. I'm betting on Watson. All right. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> if you're betting on Watson, you're, you're indirectly betting on the total too. So I think the Steelers. <laughs> I got the Steelers. Well, we'll get to my picks, but okay. I I don't. Think okay. So that, those are my thing. picks. Yep. So Avery, over to you. So I'm going. My favorite is the Titans minus two and a half on the road at Minnesota. I got fucked by the Vikings last week. So now I'm going against them for every week until I lose money again. <laughs> you'll, uh, probably, you'll make a lot of money. Doing yes, that, I'm sure. going to chase whoever is playing the Vikings every week. And it's starting with the Titans minus two and a half this that's, week. That's that's it? That's all they are? I would that's think, all they are. Dude. They're on the road. Under a with field no goal and a spread. Fan. But, yeah, who knows? I'm taking it. That's what I have. So I'm taking that to I the like bank. It. Cash it. Is that your favorite of, like, not your favorite pick, but, or I'm sorry, is that your favorite pick of the, your three here? Um, no. No, I have, my favorite pick is my player of the week, even though it's not a pick. <laughs> okay, but keep going, keep going. That's for later. Underdog, Texans, plus three and a half, going against you, Sandy. I'm sorry. They've played two unbelievable teams. They play the best football team ever, week one, and then a pretty good team, week the, two. The best football team that almost lost to the Chargers last week. Yeah, championship teams win. <laughs> That's what they did. Um, Texans, plus three and a half on the road. They might only score 20 points, but the Steelers are going to score 16 points, hopefully. <laughs> or something shitty like that. Um, Texans, plus three and a half. Yep. Lock it in. My total, this one makes no sense. That's why I'm taking it. Uh, Panthers, <laughs> Chargers, <laughs> over 44. Uh, rookie quarterback. <laughs> Herbert starting. Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. think that line changes Yo. now? Uh, nope. Uh, Did you guys hear about that? The whole Tyrod Taylor punctured lung. Yeah, the I team li- doctor was trying to give him a shot for his ribs and just punctured his lung. Yeah, I said there's no way that guy has a job after today. No. After Dude, that comes, I out. feel like the Chargers have historically over the years had like one of the worst medical staffs ever. <laughs> like they have always injured guys, and the recovery time is just they never they're not transparent. Like they had Melvin Ingram was hurt, and they just like never like release no. anything about him. Uh, Maybe Herbert's dad paid off the trip. Yeah, I was gonna say Justin Herb- <laughs> Justin Herbert MD was the doctor, yeah. the team doctor. So, so, so anyway. Keep and then going. no Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. This doesn't make sense. I should not be taking this. I can just see myself after the first quarter. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Everyone looks like shit. I can see myself being like, why would I do this? But that's why I'm taking the over. <laughs> uh, fantasy player of the week. I want to see Jeremy in a bad mood on Monday. 
I'm taking Jared Goff. I hope the Rams put up 50 points. I do too. On the Bills. Well, if they take 50 points, I hit the over. So yeah, okay, so fine. you'll be a little little happy. And by the way, I take all of these picks. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Me too. Yeah. No fugazi too. shit. I'm no. taking the picks, <laughs> and uh, yeah. This is on my bank account, so you guys can trust me. Yep. Uh, yeah, Jared Goff, Player of the Week. I like that. So bring it over to me. I am coming off an absolute steamer Peter. last week. Three and O. I am feeling no. I'm feeling great about these picks. My favorite of the week is the Steelers mm. minus three and a half. Mm. As Avery no. said, I am backing my bets with money. That is what I'm doing. I am confident. I think the Steelers might win by 14 points. I'll say it now. You might holy wanna, shit. They no. might win by 14 <laughs> points. You guys, you guys are all high and mighty over here. I do not think the Texans will score more than 18 points. I'm taking the under. Now we're 18. <laughs> I'll, I'll go lower. I'm actually that confident. I don't think the Texans okay. will score over three 14. touchdowns. Let's I'd, make a bet. All right. No, well, I'll bet you they win by okay. more than a touchdown right now, the Steelers. Just for for, for, okay. for the for the podcast. All right. They win by seven <laughs> points. I'll take an alternate line on that. Okay. All right. So that's my favorite. Steelers minus three and a half. My dog of the week, the Packers, baby. Mm-hmm. They are hot. They are 2-0. and oh. They have played, you know, the Lions are garbage. They started off really bad <laughs> against our boy Drew and the Saints. I don't know, man. I, 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 it hurts to take the pack in this just because I'm always, we're, yeah, always, we're in Drew's always corner, good. of course. Yeah. But I think as plus three, I like it. I honestly like money line too. I'm definitely taking plus three and I will be sprinkling on the money line. Um, looking for a live spot as well. But for my dog, I got the Packers plus three. My total, I love this play as well. Detroit Lions, who have just an absolutely tragic defense and the Cardinals who are high paced, you know, running gun offense. I got the under 55. I thought I was took the over on this. I don't know why I was hyping that up. Yeah, What the hell was that? Dude, <laughs> the Lions defense is bad. The Cardinals offense is high paced, but everyone in their <laughs> yeah. mother, no, but everyone in their mother will have the over in this game. Yeah. Like I think it might okay. be a 70, 30 well, split. 55. Yeah. That's 55. High I'm taking the under like you on this okay. one. I'm just taking it because the number's extremely high. Yeah. Okay. Fade the public. I that's I mean, the public will be it'll be at least sixty five percent on the over, and if they're not, I'll I'll be shocked. But I'm taking the under in this one um and letting it ride. I think fifty five is just an abominable amount of points. I think we get some turnovers here and there, so we, we don't see that many points. And then my player of the week, Jonathan Taylor. He is the full time starter. He is playing the Jets, or just the Jets. Adam Gase. I'm sh- I'm shocked he's not out of there yet. That guy is terrible. He's a genius. I, yeah. <laughs> Didn't he make some sort of comment I, this week? Yeah, he's going to put the offense into overdrive or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> you can't well, fucking overdrive. Yeah, put it into overdrive yeah. from fucking reverse. That Here come extra going, turnovers. Yeah. Literally more <laughs> that turnovers than they already backwards. have. Oh, Anyways, I... Jonathan Taylor's got the starting role against the Jets. The Jets are just a tragedy, so mm-hmm. I'm mainly taking it for that reason, but... We're going to ride that. We'll see how it goes. I'm very confident in this slate. And as we all said, we take every single one of these bets with real money. So you might as well tail us as well. Yeah. All right. Should we go through Devin's? You want to, you want to go through Devin's? I mean, I'm not okay. there. I don't Devin do had this. the same lock as me, Falcon minus four. He picked the Rams probably to get in my head at plus two and a half. <laughs> Just and, then, <laughs> and then he got he took the uh, Raiders pat over 47 and a half. And then his player of the week is Matty Ice. Ooh, Matty Ice, low key has been, been awesome. slinging it. He's third best, third most fancy points on our system. Um, I want to do before we jump into week three spreads and where we're leaning. I want to have one. I have one question: Who gets fired first, Matt Patricia or Adam Gase? Matt Patricia. Yeah. You really think? Well, because they had Jim Caldwell there before, like, and he was going like nine and seven, which is for Detroit. That's good. Well, there, yeah, in that division. I mean, yeah, like the why, Bears and Packers usually won. Why in that are you division. firing a guy going nine and seven to? Patricia's won like five games or something since he's been there. Yeah, literally. Which is so. But they, I think it's like the, the fact that effect, dude. They like, all right, we're gonna get a Billy B guy, a fucking guy that's been with Bill forever, defensive minded, because they've always had shit defenses. Yeah. Still a terrible one. I don't know what he does there, but I, I think yeah, he's. I mean, he's just good. a bad look. He's a big guy like me, you know. Just doesn't look too good. <laughs> the fans don't like seeing that. Maybe they can get a guy who looks a little better. And, <laughs> you think uh, it's about the looks? That's I why. think the look isn't helping. It's the fucking pencil behind the ear, the backwards hat. He looks like a defensive coordinator. Well, yeah, he's a Not, defensive coach. That's well, what he does. Yeah, good insight, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You think Patricia, too? He's gone before Gase? I, don't, I think of the Jets, dude. There's no way the Jets Gase are... Gase is still coaching. Dude, Gase Everyone chirps him so much, I feel bad for <laughs> the If guy. I was Gase, I would literally just quit myself. I'd be like, I've had enough. The Jets suck. And Dude. they got no one though. And like, Le'Veon Bell have? arguably ruined his career by going there. Like yeah, anyone who goes there just turns to dust. That's what that's yeah, just he's the, hurt. I have 
for my fantasy. It's that it's that turf. He got hurt on the yeah. same field. Dude, that MetLife turf. We had what seven ACLs last week. Yeah, yeah something. Fuck. That's just you hate to see it. Yeah. Anyways, let's dive into another great segment we love doing here. Our leans. So again, these are our leans. We're gonna walk through every game for week three. Talk about where we're leaning, but we're not necessarily betting every game. So don't take take it with a grain of salt with yeah. what we say here on this one. So. Too much Boy, line move. Yeah, too much line move. Lines will probably swing from now until then, so let's just keep that in mind. Um, but let's get right into it. We got Thursday night action coming up. Dolphins versus Jags. Jags minus three. Where are we leaning? Jer, I got the Dolphins. I think people think the Jags are gonna win because they've been close, but I think the Dolphins will. They're always that. They're that team who surprises you in a game like this. Two shit teams. I think the Dolphins win this game. What about Minshew Mania, bro? I don't give a shit about Minshew. I'm all in. Are you in on Minshew Mania? I mean, obviously. Dude. Yeah. How could you not be? Is it in Jacksonville? I got to confirm that. Um, I think so. Yeah, because yeah. Bill's played in Miami. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna ride with Minshew Mania on this one. I'm, I'm Jags not, minus it's three such as a, well. It's such a dump of a game that I just, you know. I but look, really, the, the Jags have played two good weeks in a row against uh, Indy's possibly a playoff team, and then the Titans went to the AFC Championship game last year, and they kept it close. Yeah. So I, I think, yeah, but. You're on the Fins. All yeah, right, so we're both, we got Jags minus three. You're on the Fins plus three. Mm-hmm. Next game, this is one of your, one, both of our picks on this game. We got Texans yeah. or Steelers minus three and a half. So we took, we both took the Texans. You guys both yeah. have Texans? I'm on the Texans. All right, Sandy's on Steelers. Money line. It's on really? money line. Yeah. Why do you like, why are you so confident in Houston this week? There's no way they go 0 3. Also, the Steelers aren't even that good of a team. So. I mean, I think they, they just, haven't played good teams. The Steelers played the Giants and the Broncos, and the Broncos were actually manned out too. Yeah, They'd yeah. Missed the and that was a close game. They won twenty six twenty one. I think the Texans have like a little bit more room to breathe now mm-hmm. that the other offenses aren't going to score yeah. every drive. They think, yeah. and they know they need to win this game. The Texans this is a must win game for them almost. Like I don't know, man. They're down zero and two in the air, and they're like, like yeah, it's also is, they're going to come to play. Though, dude, Bill O'Brien's going to Bill O'Brien at the end of the day, like. You can't just give the coach the keys to the fucking front office and be like, "Hey, buddy, figure it out." Like, Wasn't he a Penn State guy? Former. He actually was. He was. was a good, he actually? He was a former. I'm rapping today. And you're chirping him, dude. I. He deserves I, to I be chirped. I, 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 I watch football every Sunday. I mean, anyone who has a brain on their head, I don't think he's a Bill Bryan guy. So, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't. You just said a brain on their head. <laughs> A brain in their head. <laughs> That's how much I hate Bill O'Brien. The guy is a, he's terrible. So I'm fading. I'm you know more directly fading Bill O'Brien. I I love Deshaun. I, I like David Johnson. Have him in fantasy, but the Texans are, are not good. Their defense is trash. Their O line is the worst thing I've ever fucking seen. So I'm I'm good with the Steelers here. The Washington Football Team versus the Browns. Browns are minus seven. Where are we leaning? Give me the man on a mission, Baker. We're going Browns. I'm on Washington. I'm on Washington, too. Um, I got Baker starting for my team this week. Dude, Baker. Well, I think Washington's better than the Bengals, and the yeah. Bengals found a way to cover, so I think Washington finds a way to cover. We had the we had that teaser, too. Did mm-hmm. you ride that with me? That Hell was, no. Yeah. The Arizona game, though, kind of worried me. They kind of yeah. slapped them around. So, Jeremy, you're on the Browns, minus seven. Ava and I got Washington football team. I like that. The wa- it's it's a football Eagles. number, too. It is. Minus seven, I'm happy with that. If it was minus six and a half, I would think about taking the Browns. Fact. Yeah. Okay. Glad we're on the page there. Uh-huh. Rams versus Bills. Bills are minus two and a half. Bills. I'm taking the Rams in this one. Just Rams money line. Yeah, Holy Rams crap, money guys. line all day. I don't even, literally, I'll donate the points to, good, to a good <laughs> cause. I don't need them. Uh, Jerry, yes. you're on the Bills, and we have to ask you. Dude, the Bills. I mean, I think is the ra- it in Buffalo though. Yeah, in how's Buffalo. the weather? Do we are we any insight into the weather? Uh, well, there? the weather here is supposed to be very nice. Oh. Or no, rainy, rainy Sunday actually. Well, that's a fucking one eighty from what you just said. It's yeah, no Saturday. I was thinking Saturday. College football of... got in my head. That's on me. Um, <laughs> but Sunday, it's supposed to rain here. Hopefully, it rains there and it fucks up the Bills. What? And no, the bill, the rain yeah. helps the Bills. Yeah. No, I hope it fucks them up. Play dirty dude, football. Dude, the, I need sunny weather, and if it's sunny weather, yeah, I forgot I California doesn't deploy. fucking yeah, rain. Yeah, that's I might me again. Weather man. Either way, <laughs> I'm not the weather man. Bills and that's rainy Jerry. weather, though, that's a big, that's a big factor that I wait. Would didn't think you about. take the over in that game? Yes. You, you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you I hope it rains for shit the Bills, ton, right? Man. For the Bills, right? To win, you want the rain, but for the over, I don't. I don't see Jared Goff doing well in the. Who you you had Goff as your player too? Yeah, player of the week. There's not. If too it rains, much to you're that. screwed. You're yeah. screwed though. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So we Ave and I are on the uh, the Rams money line. We don't want the points, and Jared's minus two and a half. All right, next, 
the Titans versus the Vikings. I'm on the all, Titans with I think you. We're, all the we're Titans. on the Titans, yeah. dude. Vikings. I, I'm probably gonna put money on that game. That would uh, probably be one of my. If it stays bets. a minus two and a half, I can see it going to three. Yeah, so honestly, get on it. It's in. T- it's in Tennessee too, right? Nope. Oh, it's in Minnesota. Okay, that would make sense. The home dogs, dude. I don't know. Tennessee's a better football team, no question. But I think so. I like my. I like that two and a half number field goal gets it done for us all day. Um, everyone on Titans. All right, next we got the 49ers who are injured as hell versus the Giants who are plus four. Now let's before we say our picks. Do we think plus four is an absurdly low number? Or do you think it's fair with all the injuries? I think it's. I think it's like a toss up. I don't know what the hell's going to happen in this game. You, uh, I think honest. it's absurdly low. I do too. I was like, dude. What do you the, mean? No, who's the, it, Jimmy's, Jimmy's not Jimmy's, playing, I, dude. That, I thought he wasn't playing. I don't think that's true at all. I thought it. I thought I just heard something that he's not playing. Eddie, can you confirm if Jimmy Garoppolo's injury status if he's playing this week? Anyways, even if he do four, bro, plus four, like that's insane. They're playing. The Giants, but it's just like I mean, it's just like what we thought with the Saints spread, and look what happened. Well, I teased they want the you to spread. take it. Well, I didn't take the Saints spread. I teased them and still lost. No, but a lot of people, most of the public, how, what was the percentage of public that took the Saints? Like like over 60, 60, 70 something. percent. Yeah, over sixty for sure. Because everyone was saying it looked so low. So, so you're telling me you like the Giants then at plus four? I don't know why. My head's giving me the Giants. Okay, I'm Giants. on the Niners. I'm on the Niners too. I don't know. Kittle, I think, will play even though he shouldn't. Um, and I think they win by a touchdown. At Raheem's least. not yeah. playing, but it's the fucking Giants, dude. It's dude. The Giants, dude. It is. I'm not trying to convince you. I want I you know, to be off of it. Okay, okay, yeah. so okay. The Giants are going to be fucking awesome, Jared. Dude. That's what I'm going to tell you. Right. Right. Devonte Freeman. All right. So <laughs> he says injured, but he's there's still a chance he might play because the severity is not that bad. We might so. want to get those bets in now. Then if he's even. Close I think him. I'm waiting till game time to bet this one. I don't. Okay. We're at least we're on the same page. I don't. You're doing your own thing. If you cover, <laughs> I'll, I'll eat my words. But let's move on. As of two days ago, it says he's been ruled out with ankle injury, but there's a like there's a chance he could come back. Okay. Oh, well, we'll be wa- we'll be monitoring that as we uh, go through the week here. <laughs> let's move on. Bengals versus Eagles. Eagles minus five and a half. Where are we leaning? Eagles would have been my lock this week. I think. That was my they're, second. Dude, they're angry. They're bouncing back. Dude, I took them last week, though. I just said, I literally I just said know. 20 minutes ago, I, I won't bet the Eagles again this year. I don't know. One of those teams goes 0 3. Joey B. Joey's on Mr. Mission. Backdoor. Dude, that dude <laughs> loves backdoor covers after last week. I was That was I awesome. Know. I, fe- I got to go Bengals. I got to go Bengals to cover. I would love six. I here, think not five, after five, hearing five. Joe talk, he said he's not used to losing. I'm going to take the he's Eagles. Gonna come too. back. I, I hate think to I'm not betting this with real money, but I'm leaning Eagles. What about you? I'm I'm Eagles. I'm on the Eagles. I, w- I probably them. won't touch it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not. Gonna can't touch see it. the Bengals getting their ass. But I could see Carson Wentz being shit again. It's not know, good. Dude. It's not good at football, <laughs> dude. Ah, okay. He, He's not. Here we go. I don't like Carson Wentz. <laughs> Number two four, pick. Four <laughs> picks. Four picks. And yeah, I'm saying he's not playing his best football right now. I definitely agree with that. But you're not going to sit here and tell me. I mean, when your team wins the Super Bowl without you, you know? Josh Allen has like two good games, and he's like, now he's all of a sudden Josh Allen's the goat. Like, Mr. Fucking Irrational sitting next to me right now. I mean, we talked about what do we talk about today? 49ers missing the playoffs. I had that. Jared's it's week two. Okay, sorry, no, it's right. And they have a I win. Really, They're I one and it. one. Really. <laughs> They're one win away from being perfect. I can't, this year. I can't, I can't I wait to it. clip this but <laughs> in like a couple weeks. But. Anyways, we'll move on from that. Bears versus Falcons. Falcons minus three. Yeah, that line changed. Would you, would it's you minus three now. Is it, no, it is. Yeah, did, but we had. You're a, saying the Falcons were lower. Or they were. Higher? They were. They were at minus four. Oh sh. Yeah, I don't know why people are betting the Bears. I like the Falcons here. Yeah, I'm on the Bears. Yeah, he's on the Bears. Uh, two weeks in a row. I bet them last week they lost. That was kind of tough, but. The Falcons just <laughs> always seem to find a way to fuck me up my money. So yeah. crap, I'm crap, Bears. crap. Oh. Crap offense against really good offense. Should be interesting. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Dude? <laughs> All right. Dude, I will, yeah. Sandy and I know what's up. Dude, the Bears are trash. I'm, I'll fade the Bears any day of the week. Thank you. All right. Raiders versus the Patriots. Patriots minus six. Where are we leaning? Patriots. I mean the Patriots. I think they they look good against Seahawks. This is another brain twist. I think now me. the this Raiders. Is a t- this is what I'm yeah. off. I wouldn't put money on this game, but I think I gotta go with the Patriots. They looked really good against the Seahawks. I'd be on Raiders if this moves up to six and a half or seven. seven, oh, seven then I'm, I'm taking the Raiders, dude. I I thought this line like looking at the Saints versus Raiders game. I was like, there's no way. Even in the first game in their stadium, 
I got sh- I, I literally couldn't have been wrong, more wrong. So I don't know. The Raiders, also the Pats had a gritty game against the Seahawks, yeah. so it's like a pretty hard game here. I'm gonna minus six is too much for me though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Raiders, even though the, the Raiders defense is garbage. I'm going Raiders. So you and I are Raiders, you're Pats. All right. Damn, we're pretty on cue today. You're yeah. Jeremy, you're you're riding solo. I kinda like it for you. Um <laughs> Thank you. No, it's just your it's not, uh, it's not a good thing to say, but Ryan Jeremy solo. on Pats. Okay. Next we got the Panthers versus the Chargers. Chargers minus six five. Anyone have the ball take the Panthers here? No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So I just got that out there. Out. I knew for a fact. I don't think anyone would, would say it. Maybe you out of anyone, but yeah, that's yeah. True. all on Chargers. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to bet that either, though. That's no. a high number. But. Bet, bet the over, though. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> 44. Is that what the number 44. is? 44. Ooh, that's juicy. I, I can know. just see that pushing, just being <laughs> like, just being <laughs> a lot. Last second field goal. Yeah, like the only thing worse than this game would be if this pushes and I, or I lose and it's going to push. <laughs> All right, next game, Jets versus Colts. Colts minus 10 and a half. I'm on the Jets. I'm on the Jets, too. Fuck. I had it at 11. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to be on the Jets. No, it was at the 11. 10 and a half. half. Yeah, it was at 11. It's Can the Colts even out. score 10 and a half points in a game? <laughs> well, they did last week. Yeah, they scored. Th- uh, How many did they I score? Like 30. 31. Did they? Oh, it was slow. 31 dude. to 11. Um, no. 31 to 11, sense. I don't think that I was the score. Was score. I think it was 21 to 11. <laughs> How do you even get to that score? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A missed extra point of safety in the field. There was a safety in the game. That's, why that's the only way you can <laughs> there get there. There was a, a safety. Game. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm... Was there 11 points? It was... Uh, let me check here. Yeah, please find out. Yeah, let me, check, let me check. Let me check. Um, it was 28 to 11. Okay. So it was 11. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Good so, work, Jer. Had a boy. Sorry, I doubted you. Yeah. Under smash, though. Fact. <laughs> Did it ever? Um, <laughs> all right. So, j- who's on Jets? I'm on the Jets, on Jets. because I'll ride the Jets. The it's this one. too. It's too many points. Way too many. The points. Colts the, after the, that dumpster fire against the Jags. I think. Yeah. I think they can do it again, but win. The extra half point here for me is a real selling point. Like, <laughs> I need that extra half point because yeah, yeah. touchdown field goal. All right. Like, I could be. I could probably bet the Colts on that yeah. spot, but the extra half point. I'm riding Jets with What's you guys. Under on that game. Um, I'll tell you right now in the Jets, that I is. I think it was forty. I think it was low. Um, New York Jets. The un, over under is forty three and a half. Yeah, that's pretty low. I like the over. I would. I would forty three and a half, dude. Yeah. Uh, anything just, in the low forties. They're 40s, you yeah. to take they're the under. You, dude. Yeah. They're begging mm-hmm. you. Um, but yeah, that's why I would take the over in those spots. Anyways, Lions versus Cardinals. Cardinals minus six all day. Arizona. Yeah, I got the Cardinals. Galladay might be back, though, so. Oh, no. The yeah, so, that, so then terrible. they'll lose by 10 instead. Yeah, exactly. They'll still cover and lose, or they'll, <laughs> they won't cover and lose. Yeah. Cards all day. But I kind of got it. I think, oh, fuck, I might change. I might go Lions. It's an 0-2 team versus a 2-0 team. I think That's they're complacent. The Maybe. All right, That's so what, you're, you're switching off. And yeah, the Lions have a history of upsetting good teams. I mean, they'll. I think they lose. But they cut. Co- but they cover the points. Okay. Yeah, I just think they'll be hungry. They need the win. Yeah, they mm-hmm. do. Also, I mean, th- oh and three. The pack of two and zero. Oh, Bears and, are two and zero. Oh, and Patricia's need, gone. Yeah. If, if they Matt go zero Pat- oh three. <laughs> yeah. When? All right. What's the breaking point? What's your prediction here, Matt Patricia? If he, how Which, many games does he have to lose in a row to get booted? You think he's at like, three? <laughs> you think he loses one more? He's gone. I think so. I think they give him at least ten games. Ten. I I got him at at ten games leaving. You think he's first? I think Gase goes first if the Jets get. They're gonna not. Jets aren't winning this week. Period. The Jets will not win this week. Agreed. So, it's gonna uh, be a race three. First one. That's a little low. I just hope yeah, he's three. gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna reel this one in. I'll go week seven. Week seven. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got ten on that one. All right. The boys versus the Hawks. The Seahawks are minus five. I have right in front of me here. What do we like? I had, I had the Cowboys. Boys. I said I'm taking the Seahawks till they lose me money. Yeah, I'm on the Hawks too. You guys. <laughs> you guys. We literally, I think we've only been on like three all, all us, two of us all together, two of them all together, and the rest you've been separate from us. So that's pretty. Ride, Night Rider over here. Yeah. See how it pays off. Um, Bucks versus Broncos. Broncos plus six. Drew Lock out. They signed Blake Bortles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and we, Jeff Driscoll, big dude. high school rivals. Uh, but I hope we see the boat out there, the Dude, best of all time. I gotta, yeah, I'm going Bucks. <laughs> but I gotta. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm going Bucks. I gotta go Bucks. Yeah, too. yeah I'm going. I think maybe next week I might look at the Broncos. <laughs> if the Jerry, Buc- they have a rookie wide receiver one right now. 
If the Bucks, so if the Bucks went to plus or minus seven, I would think about taking the Broncos. Mm-hmm. But yeah. all day Bucks, we're all in that together. Yeah. Okay, good. The Packers versus the Saints. You guys already know it's this is one of my favorite picks of the week. Packers plus three. So I'm on the pack. What about you two? I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with the Fuck, I wish Packers. Jeremy wasn't, I wish Jeremy wasn't with us. <laughs> all on pack. I like the money line there, personally. Yeah, I think you just say fuck it yeah, with the points. points. Just, if they're going to win, they're going to fucking win. It's called a day. All right. Just last game. This is going to be a sick game. You got your boys. I wish Devin was here. This would yeah. be a night, dude. This would be a heated segment. Oh, man. We got, I think I mean, we got to yeah. do electric chair yeah. for it Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we should have called. We should call him in and ask him what he's doing, but we probably don't probably want to Probably not know. working. Yeah, we yeah, probably don't <laughs> want to know. Um, Chiefs versus Ravens. Ravens minus three and a half. Avery, I'm assuming you're riding, riding the to. boys. Yeah, I'm going Chiefs. Um, as dogs, you, what do you think? Money line or spread? What are you going to take? Like if you're going to bet take, this game, I th- I'm taking spread. I mean, three and a half, yeah. But I think, I don't know. I like the Chiefs. I'm taking money line. I'm not going to take, I'm going to fade you guys. I'm taking the Ravens minus three and a half. Because you're best friends with Devin. No, <laughs> I just, I, I could see the Ravens winning, like this being kind of a blowout here. Yeah, I can see it blow either side. I don't. Yeah. Th- I, don't I don't think, think it's going to be a close. No, game. but people think, oh, the Chiefs didn't look that good last week, and then they're just going to come out hot. You know? Yeah, I'm fucking worried about it. They're not going to look like shit we two were, weeks in a row. The Chiefs. We were going to be worried about playing them in the AFC Championship game last year, uh, and now it's just carrying over, and I'm worried to see what a great Monday night game though. That's a, dude, what a great Monday. My night. problem, my, like, why do they throw in this Dolphins Jags game on Thursday night? The last week was bad too. It was Browns versus Cincinnati, even though the game ended up being electric low key. But I mean, electric for all everyone gambling. Yeah, the back door <laughs> was on the line. But other than that, why do they throw games at us on like like Thursday prime time? Like I'm juiced up usually for Thursdays. Like yeah. give me a good game. Like. I'm not, I'm not saying throw Chiefs Ravens on Thursday night. Yeah. Give me something. Give me something to get excited for. But for Thursday night's game, are you going to take any bets? Like, we're, we got that game coming up here very, very soon. No. Nothing? I'm going to take I'm gonna something. I'm going to bet something. I got a teaser. You know, I, I did lose my first teaser of the season. That was your last-minute teaser, though. Yeah, I don't that think, was I don't think you looked that, at it. Counts, Everyone though, was hey, like, you're pushing it. it. Yeah, pushing yeah it. I'm looking at my my action network here. Um, my teasers, I'm 5-1 and one on the season. Um what was the other team I took? The Eagles. I, t- I took them. You will. You. I think. I'll tell you right the, now what I got. I what know. I got in this. Yeah, I took the best teaser was the Chiefs minus two and a half and the the Forty Nineers minus one. That was great. Um, Philly, was- dude. I had Indianapolis plus two and a half. They won. Oh. But that was easy. That was yeah. a great first leg. But then Philly plus four and a half. That wasn't even close. So. No. Yeah, that was. We're looking to. We're going to lock in some teasers for Thursday. We'll we'll report on those. You'll see it on Twitter, Instagram. TikTok now we're out there, yep. so make sure you follow us there. Um, before we log off, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a call real quick to the biggest Packers fan in the world, my father. He says he has a hot take on the Super Bowl for us, so we're gonna give him a ring real quick. Wonder who he's gonna pick. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. We're gonna cut him off if he talks too long. We'll just, I'll just hang up on him. It's okay, and I'll call you right back in two minutes. Oh uh, okay. well, we're we're on the air. We we need you right now, or else you're you're not gonna be able to give your pick. Do you want to give a quick couple seconds and let us know what you're thinking? Okay. I'll I'll be right back. All right, so you just hung up with me. You'll call me right back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's probably in a meeting or something, but um, you got to kill some time here, so let's see. <laughs> should we wrap it or should we let him, should we let him call him back? We'll definitely let him call him Yeah, it's going to be juicy. It's totally worth the content. So you just told your dad to give your pick and he just well he texted hung up me he's you. like he texted me this morning right little backstory he's like okay. i'm at the gym this morning i go every morning at 6 um <laughs> oh he's guy. already calling me he, he first sort of sprinted oh, away from his God, meeting or something all right okay. here we go let's see what he has to say for himself what's going on you're live on air with the boys how are you we're we're great you know we're actually just running down i went 3 and 0 last week on the podcast <laughs> with my picks i'm a, i'm an absolute machine i'm on a heater um, but looking to keep it going, I, we, I told everyone that you have a Super Bowl prediction for us, and you're actually in the microphone now, so fire away. I, I do. So um, so first of all, ha- hello, everyone at Owner's Box. I hope you're enjoying your weekly experience. Isn't it great? Um, <laughs> Always. I got eliminated from my pool last week um, Always a because Always uh, Always Josh a Jacobs didn't have the greatest running game, but fortunate enough, I did uh, run rough shot. You did mention your 3-0 and record. You didn't mention that we went head-to-head, and I had Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones the yeah. week before and defeated you by a monopolistic number. <laughs> yeah, you so, <laughs> so, so, so just uh, 
changing gears for a moment, though, I've told uh, Sandy this, the most intelligent player in the NFL is Aaron Rodgers. That's not my opinion because I happen to be a Green Bay Packer fan. That's actually factual. <laughs> um, he is tired. He has he has um, tested highest of any score on those tests he's given. The Wonderland. He actually says yes. The Wonderland. He actually says that he could go on, and I believe he's been on Jeopardy, and he can answer all the questions. He also has a photographic memory and never forgets a play. I thought you he was going to say he's, than he's a fifth also grader. recently single from Danica Patrick. That's why I love him this year personally. And he says he's more focused. Yeah, so exactly. I don't know what he's focused. I guess in Green Bay, it's quiet there. He probably watches a lot of Netflix at night. So <laughs> That's it. Just watch his Danica race. <laughs> All the in the meantime, um, what, what the key to this guy is he's such a brain is we actually saw it exemplified in, in last week's game. So the bottom line is that the Packers have always had troubles when they don't get home field um so because when they go into the hostile statement stadium sandy you've been at you know phoenix stadium you've been at you know in minnesota where they had the dome you couldn't hear the fact is that aaron Rodgers can't audible in these um in these stadiums and so when we get and same was in san francisco i was at the game with your brother last year and you can't audible because you can't hear the fact of the matter is 2020 has been a blessing more for the Packers than anyone else. Number one, by the way, no one forecasted that they'd be a threat. I saw that they're currently number four in the power rankings. But I'm here to tell you that they're going to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to tell you why. The reason they're going to win the Super Bowl is because Aaron Rodgers is better able to call audibles than any other player. He is absolutely the smartest person in the NFL and clearly understands audible that was exemplified last week when he screamed at his coach when there was a blitz formation and the coach ran down the field and called a timeout Aaron Rodgers ran the play and threw to an open tight end and screamed at his coach why did you call timeout I got it but at the end of the day we went into Minnesota which is the lion's den of defense and we we laid 45 points on them Um, and the fact of the matter is now about home field so clearly we don't have the home field advantage we're just like everyone else you take my argument about about going into hostile dome stadiums like we will in new orleans and the decibel levels are much lower or seattle it won't matter when we play on the road it will be like a home game even if there are well there's supposed to be fans fans actually coming in hot what is like halfway (laughs) through the season so it's going to make a difference by playoff time we'll have some fans but not as many i I i think you're dreaming if you have um, if you have Joe Biden coming in, uh, you'll have masks on for the rest of your life. So, We're getting uh, fucking political. Yeah, it won't be the same group, and it won't be the same decibel level. That's my point. And you, he can actually call, make adjustments and be heard. The, the so, opinion of our callers is not the opinion of the company. Negated in Green Bay. <laughs> Disclaimer. So in Green Bay, they were saying, you know, the defense doesn't get as hyped. You know, you lose the home field advantage. But what I would argue with you guys is if Green Bay gets – one or two obligatory games at home, and they're going to win their division. I mean, that's without even a fucking debate. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're, you go into and we're the Bay, Packers maybe, division odds right now. May, maybe, You're off, but I got to say, I just got to interrupt you really quick. You gave arguably the coldest take of the century saying the Raptors are going to win the finals this year. So you got some redemption to do. That yeah. that was on record. Truth. Well, I want to put money on them. Too, because it's well, actually on this theme. Well, you gotta to you gotta wrap game. it up because we got we gotta close this segment off. Okay. We're about to top Just an to hour. Wrap so it up, at the end of the day, going into Green Bay, so you lose the home field. There's no one screaming, but you freeze in December and January. It's not a place cold you weather Packers, to. baby. So, so that they actually still have a home field advantage that others don't. You know, you're going to Detroit. It's warm. You're going into New Orleans. It's warm. Atlanta. It's warm. You know, Minnesota. It's warm. So at the end of the day, but they still maintain their home field advantage in the playoffs. So look for the Packers to walk in. Just look for the Packers. they got a balanced offense. Their defense doesn't need to be – I don't even know who has a good defense anymore. I mean, look at the scores. But their defense – Overs. The, just, o- the over, overs are smashing yeah, lately. Yeah, we're, we're smashing. big on the overs here. We actually have uh, – overs one, are smashing. One of our interns right. is actually a Bills fan. He's th- he thinks Josh Allen's the best quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> what do you say to well, that? I have top, top four. I have uh, four. 
get into top four. He's a very good quarterback. Thank He's thrown, you. shown he can throw. I was hoping he'd rip him. Receiver from Minnesota. Oh, no. Uh, and Diggs. Um, but at the end of the day, a top four, I wouldn't call him a top four. Aaron Rodgers is still the best quarterback in he has no talent, but in the meantime, they have balance. Real biased media. <laughs> yeah. We got the best running game in the league. So <laughs> they got everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. Except our defense is questionable. Nice. So. But do I think Buffalo is going to be the AFC representative? Absolutely not. No chance. <laughs> what? Zero. They should first try to beat New England just once. And that would be very positive and be very helpful to them winning a division. That should be their focus. Um, but I don't think that they're going to win the AFC. Um, I don't think KC is either. Oh, so you I got Chiefs fan, and you hit on both segments here. You must know. I think Green Bay. I think the Chiefs were lucky to beat San, beat San Diego, LA, whatever you want to call them this week. Um, <laughs> very lucky. And I don't think they're as good as they were last year. I don't think they have a marquee defense, just like the Packers. They have an opportunistic one, very similar. But at the end of the day, it's going to be Baltimore, I think, and uh, Green Bay for the Super Bowl. And, and Green Bay's going to win because Jackson's <laughs> going to jump. All right, we got that on the record. I, hey, I'm here for it. I got, I'm going to put a future on the Packers just because I'm a fan. But I have one last question for you. It's a pressing question around the office. Packers versus the Saints on Sunday night. Packers are plus three. Do you like the points? Do you like them as three-point underdogs? Or are you just saying, screw it, give me the money line and call it a day? Well, first of all, we got to be respectful to Drew Brees, who we all know, who is <laughs> yeah. the greatest quarterback. He's one of your top five. He's of course, amazing. of course, with all respect. And, and, and we hope Michael Thomas plays, but we won't complain if he doesn't show up. <laughs> I love the Packers just to win the game. Easy all yeah, day? I might place it now. Honestly. I mean, I mean, Stephen A. Smith said about the Raiders, he's not sold on them, but they looked a lot better than New Orleans. New Orleans is a very good team, though, and they'll be at home. So it'll be a very tough game. But again, it's not the same home field that you get traditionally. So, listen, they're a great team, New Orleans. We're going to have to be at our best. I like us. Yeah. All right. Green you heard Bay, it here. Green Bay straight up. Awesome. Thanks for the call. Always a pleasure to have you on. You heard it here. Hot take. Packers versus Ravens. Super Bowl. Packers are winning it. I don't know if I stand by that, but you heard it here first. Thanks for joining the podcast, Danny. We'll, we'll talk to you. Take care. Redemption. We'll see you. We'll see you. All right. Well, that was uh, that was my father. He's full of hot takes. Um, coming off that cold Raptors uh, very cold championship take that they lost actually the night after he said that. Yeah. So <laughs> that he might bad. be bad luck. So if you like money, you might want to fade him. <laughs> But that will do it for today, boys. We crushed it. We went over our week two picks. I had the gold jacket this week. Stay tuned for the next episode to see us who wins the gold jacket. We also ran through week three, pick, week three picks. I'm fucking stuttering. It's been a long episode. We'll see you next time.